Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're doing an unboxing and first impressions video. Yeah. We got a new tool for the shop. It's a inexpensive plasma cutter, which we're both pretty stoked about. And both very inexperienced about. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've used one one time. And he's used it more than I have. <laughs> so, um, but for doing f some of the cutting and fabrication and stuff that we're going to have to do on projects going forward, this was something that we could get our toes wet with and see how much we would actually use it. Mm -hmm. It Again, the brand is uh, Reboot. It's off Evil Bay. I get it. It's not top of the line or anything, but... We get to try it. We're going to try it out, see how we like it. And maybe we'll get lucky and we'll have a gym. I doubt it, but we'll see. It's 110 or 220, but it came in today, so we're going to do a unboxing and first impressions from two novice people who have no clue. So let's get with it. Let's go cut a box. All right. Cut the box. <laughs> I wonder what's inside. Ow. You're not supposed to do that with a knife. It wasn't the knife. It was Marshall under my foot. And I don't know why I said ow. I think the owl was for him because I kicked the shit out of him. <laughs> Look, it's a handle in a box. That's tiny. It's, yeah, it's little. Hey, it's not about the size, okay? <laughs> Reboot. I hope that isn't an indication of what we're gonna have to do with this thing all the time. And all the cables. Yep. Well, now that you saw the unboxing, let's <laughs> take it to the shop and get it all put together. And we'll talk about all of that, all the stuff that it is and it isn't. And what it and, actually comes with. Yeah. All right guys, so we're gonna let Matt run the camera and I'm gonna yammer because I looked over a little bit of it more than he has. So we got everything out of the box. We got us a gas or airline to run from our regulator into the machine. An adapter because it it's it is a 110 or 220 it came with a cheap clamp uh, negative which we may end up changing that out some extra consumables a quick start cutting guide destructions yeah and the torch head. Um, also on the back of the machine, it came with the gauge, which was not attached, the regular, the regulator and water separator, along with an air in, and then we've already made the connection right there. Um, this is what she looks like out of the box. And there's not a lot to it. We don't have it hooked to power yet, but you got your amperage knob, your ground hookup, your torch hookups, and away you go. To be honest, there isn't a lot to this, which is good for people who don't know anything. Um, so we're gonna find some scrap metal laying around and we're gonna try and cut it. So we will get set up on the opposite side of the room because it's the only place we got 220 right now. And we'll see what we can do. All right guys, I guess I'm doing the first cut. Never done this before, so this is gonna be a learning experience for all of us. So what we've got is a, it was a quarter inch square tubing and it's a, oh, eighth inch. It was the eighth inch, sorry, the eighth inch square tubing. It's a three by three. 
tubing. Piece of scrap. Yeah, piece of scrap. That's all. Yeah, what we're doing is scrap. What are you cutting it on? What's your setting? This says 25. All right. Yeah. There's there's only one knob on there. That's all it does. So we're gonna start with it. We're gonna attempt it with a 25 uh, amp volt cut. Sure. All right. All right. Let's try it. I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong or what, but it, they basically welded itself back together. You gotta slow down. Okay. Try it again. I wonder if it's too much then. Could be too much. Or not enough. And this is how we learn, guys. Yes. All right. Let's try it again. Go for it. I think it was, but not enough. fast too. I think so. It worked that time though. <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you set it on? I'd still think that might be that I think we were right the first time. Cause it was it was blowing through it. So try and cut you a circle out. Cut me a circle. Oh cut a circle? Yeah just cut a Okay. Freehand you a circle. So Alright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep yep. That, that'll tell you more than trying to cut that line. Alright. Yeah, I knocked it down just a smidge just to see if that was. All right, guys, let me get you over here where you can see what he's done. There's his little piece. There's the hole. And our settings probably aren't right, and we know that. We're learning. All right, let's uh, reset, and we'll set up the quarter-inch plate and try it. All right, guys, so we got the... Uh quarter inch plate hooked up. We referenced the instructions because we don't know what we're doing. And we're going to adjust it up, it said to 40 ish. And we're going to give her a cut.
so 40 on quarter actually looks pretty decent it doesn't have a lot of slag build up problem was is when i started i won't lie i jumped and it skipped a spot so it didn't cut didn't knock it off but all right we're learning nothing that a hammer won't fix cool i like it i like it a lot that's gonna make these projects a lot easier oh yeah all right all right all right yeah all right yep yep <laughs> all right guys so this is the reboot 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 i don't know why i messed that up i was looking right at it i mean it was probably supposed to be like robot, but you know, yeah. Chinese translation. No, um, no more than I know about plasma cutters. It did all the things. It cut the metal at what they said. It, other than some operator error, <laughs> which we're learning. Yeah, it, it's. We bought the cheap one to learn. Um, time will tell on how long it lasts and how well it holds up. I've seen a few other reviews on the older version of this, and for guys like us, they last for a long time, supposedly. We'll, you know, time, like I said, time will tell. We may get into using it every day, and then it won't last, or whatever yeah as we're putting out videos we'll be able to tell you if that fell apart or not <laughs> in future videos yeah. hopefully it'll last long enough for a one-year review yeah or update or whatever but we'll see i mean if no. someone wants to send us a lincoln or miller or something like that hey i i, I yeah. give you my address <laughs> but right now this comes out of our pockets <laughs> delivery to oh yeah. But no, um, I, I I like it. I mean, I cut one little bitty thing, so I think here in the next week or so we'll really know how we feel about it. We got we got a lot of metal to cut over there. Yeah. <laughs> for 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 those that haven't seen or don't keep up, we just got a parts truck for our project grandpa, which is our '67. Uh, Kaiser J2000. So we got a, another truck that we're sacrificing the axles, the transmission, the transfer case, and the engine. We got a lot of metal to cut. Yeah, and then we also have to clean up the frame on that prop on the Kaiser as well. So to make all this stuff fit, this will work great. Yeah, I, I think we're going to be. We, we might have to invest in a belt sander next to clean up all the slack we might not have to learn. Yeah, 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 that sounds reasonable. Okay, but back to this, I mean, it's light, it's portable, it's... It's user-friendly, it's got one knob. Yeah. <laughs> For us just learning one knob, one button, whatever, <laughs> it, it's definitely... I think it's definitely a beginner grade. Dip your toes in the water, you know, you're cutting a little bit here and there. Cut a few things off here, cut a few things off there. Yeah. Grind the rest of it out, because, you know, a grinder makes me the cutter, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, a grinder and paint makes me the welder I am. <laughs> so, there you go. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to get more time with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Cool. With it. We do. I know you saw us working on the floor. I, I know, but I only have one 220 plug in the shop right now, and I didn't have an extension cord for it. However, I have some wire that all I got to do is put some plugs on the end of it, and we will have an extension cord, and we will be able to move at least up to 20 feet away from the plug. So, yeah, which is where the parts truck is, where grandpa is, where the uh, trailer is. So, life's good. Yeah, and then. Eventually, we'll have it ran over here to the welding table so we yeah. can cut and weld and all that right there as well. But 
I'm trying trying to think if there's anything else I want to say about it. Other, I, I'm just excited. Yeah, and I guess that's really all there is to say. I mean, it was a, a, an Evil Bay special, a Steel Bay. Was it Steel Bay? Evil Bay. I know that's all of it. You know, so we'll 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 see what we can get use out of it. Yeah. But all right, I guess we will see you guys Friday. Bye, guys.